Herpes is a skin infection caused by a virus. It lives dormant in many people and manifests itself in certain circumstances. Herpes usually appears around the mouth and or the sexual organs or the anus. Conflict of separation or lack of contact, because herpes occurs on the border between the skin and the mucosa, that is, between the outside and the inside. In herpes we can find a conflict related to the epidermis, the mucosa or the nerve. The epidermis translates to us a conflict of separation or lack of contact which can be referred to as the father, a child, the partner, etc. The mucosa is something internal and intimate. Nerves tell us about a conflict related to a desire or to a project for instance. For example, I'm waiting for my partner to kiss me, but he or she hasn't made up their mind. Herpes tells us about a conflict of separation, added to other negative issues, for example, I have been ignored, offended, hurt, humiliated, and so forth. The herpes virus loves trauma and seeks companionship, as you look back through your personal experiences, you may find that you've enjoyed the toxicity of drama and chaos. You may be needy and find yourself to be drawn to people who need you. In essence, you've been addicted to being needed. This may have been an ongoing theme in your life from as early as you can remember. Herpes is a sneaky virus and you may have been very covert throughout your life in terms of getting the Ashamed of asking for sex, digging deeper, you may have been ashamed to ask for sex. There's an inner conflict between what mainstream media shows us about how to get it, versus what porn shows us in terms of getting it and then the reality of getting it. There shouldn't be any convertness around it. That implies a sense of entitlement out of this world. You will need to learn that it's okay to just ask. Dealing with any shame can disappear by just being honest. The truth is that what you've been ashamed of isn't sex or asking for it, but it's your own behavior stemming from the deception that comes from the belief that if you provide someone's needs, they'll give me what you need. It's time to heal the healing process is yours alone. The intention is to sit with the healing and understand the emotional state you were in that brought about herpes or continual outbreaks, and prioritize catering to your own needs. This also means creating and enforcing boundaries around your energy and vehicles of expression. This is the first step in providing and sustaining a level headspace to continue to facilitate a safe space for healing. Diseases and conditions of the body are often an expression of your current mental and emotional state. Your feelings and thought process tend to manifest in your body. If you have a new condition out of nowhere, think deeply about what it is trying to tell you.